you guys. So, as promised, today I'm going to do a problem on Laplace transforms. Um, Laplace transforms are really uh, partial fraction expansion, excuse me. It's actually really easy once you get the hang of it. And unlike linear algebra, which you're required to take to um, qualify for electrical engineering as a degree, most teachers won't ask you to do matrices, but they will ask, test you on partial fraction expansion. So I'm going to start by saying that after you get the hang of it, it'll be really easy. So a, I don't have the proof for it, but take my word for it that, um, well first let's talk about this function. This is the transform function in the frequency domain. So it's already been transformed, and it's 8s squared plus 37s plus 32 is equal to s plus 1 times s plus 2 times s plus 4. And we need to find, we need to inverse transform that and bring it back into the time domain. So that's the great thing about Laplace transforms is that um, instead of doing partial differential equations with complex systems uh, of, uh, of second order and multi-order, differential equations, Laplace transform changes the problem into just an algebra problem and um, linear equations, polynomials, which are a lot easier to, to handle mathematically. Although, when I was doing problem 1241, I got into some butt hairy algebra and it was really ugly. So, um, there's a law in math that says when you have something that looks like that, it is exactly identical as some number a over one part of the first part that is being multiplied to plus one number some number b over s plus 2 plus some number c over s plus 4. We're going to accept that as fact. We're not going to derive that or anything. It's a factual statement and it's true. So if you guys out there can prove that that's false, you'll become very, very rich and famous because it's true. So once you get good, I want you to realize that you'll see a pattern. The pattern is always that the A, when you have simple roots like this and it's not complex, A will always be whatever is in the top, what, whatever's in the bottom is going to be minus that. So in this case, A will be S plus 2 times S plus 4 on the bottom. So that's going to be gone. And you'll have the same numerator, 8S squared plus 37S plus 32. And it will always be evaluated at whatever makes this 0. So S plus 1 equals 0. S is equal to negative 1. It will always be evaluated at that. Okay. We're going to find the answer and then do back to the algebra so that you can know in your heart how to solve it. But I want you to get into the rhythm of seeing a pattern and just recognizing that pattern. Because we're not here to do algebra, we're here to do electric circuits. And it's not about um, complex polynomials. So that is what A is. And let's do the math. Actually, I'm not going to do the math because this was a pain in the neck, so I'm just going to tell you what my answer is and what I found A to be. A is going to be 1. So what did we do? We have some rules for finding A, B, and C when the, when the answers are real and not complex, right? So in the denominator, denominator, right, what is it? So let me rewrite this answer, whatever, so um, numerator of the answer, and that's referring to the A, B, and the C. So answer is, e is equal to the denominator. Mm, hold, hang on, hang on, hang on. Just trying to give you guys some rules. So A is equal to in the denominator, everything else. What I mean by everything else, I mean is that we have the s plus 1, right? That's not no longer going to be going to be in the denominator. So it's going to be everything else, the s plus 2 and the s plus 4. 
Okay? So, on the numerator, we have same thing. Okay, and we will evaluate that at S, whatever, um, we will evaluate S equal to whatever makes, whatever makes the denominator of A zero. Denominator of A equal to zero. So whatever makes the denominator of A go to zero, that's what we will develop, evaluate that as, and that gives us one. Now we're going to find B, and we're going to follow those exact same rules because that's the general solution for all formulas, or for all, um, that's the partial, ex partial fraction expansion solution for everything that is real roots. So B then is going to equal, um, same thing, right? Whatever's on top will carry over, 8S squared, plus 37s plus 32, that's going to be over everything else. So everything that is not s plus 2, that would be s plus 1, s plus 4. Evaluated at whatever makes the denominator b equals 0. So when is s plus 2 equal to 0? That's going to be when s is equal to negative 2. Evaluate that at s equals to negative 2. When you do that, you will find that, let me just verify this, just because I'm skipping, I'm showing you the shortcut of doing partial fraction expansion for the easiest form of it. Nah, you know what, I have limited time because I'm at the Tiger Library and I need to get my son dinner, so I think we're only going to have time for part A. So, so S, when we evaluate that, we're going to come up with B is equal to 5. Okay, 5. Do the same thing for C. So our general formula is C is equal to, on top, same thing, 8S squared plus 37S plus 32. On the bottom, everything else, so not S, is, S of 4. So S plus 4, S plus 1 times S plus 2. Okay. That, and then evaluated where? Evaluate at whatever makes this zero. So that's going to be s is equal to negative 4. When you evaluate that, you will find that this here is equal to 2. And that is going to be your partial fraction expansion. And the inverse transform of that is going to be 1, so f of t, then will be 1, and then this, in this part, you simply look up tables. So you look up tables at 1 times 1 over s plus 1. What does that look close to? Well, that looks close to e to the minus t, right? This is your a. So e to the minus a t, this is going to be e to the minus t, because a is just 1. And here we have 5 times 1 over s plus 2. That's just the same format as that, so that's going to give me 5e to the minus 2t. And then the last one is just 2e to the minus um, 2, 4t. 2e to the minus 4t. So that is the inverse transform for, that's the, that same function, identically that same function, if we undo the Laplace transform and put it back into the time domain, that's what we get. Everything gets multiplied by a u of t. The u of t, all that does is it, def it says that this function is not valid for time less than zero. So it defines everything for positive time. That's all that that does. So that's your answer. However, let's go ahead and do the painful math. I'm only going to do it for that one because the, the identical math carries over with the other ones. And I'm going to leave that to the viewer to do for practice because now you know the answer and you know the shortcut, right? All right. So the reason why that works, if we do it once, we'll know why it works. We have 8s squared plus 37s plus 32 is equal to s plus 1, s plus 2, s plus 4. That's equal to some a over s plus 1 plus b, some b over s plus 2. I need space.
erase here, so I'm going to erase this. Plus some C over S plus 4. So now we are going to do a little trick. We're going to, we want to multiply for A, so we want to get A alone. So we're going to multiply both sides We can by S plus 1, right? Over here, this is going to give us S plus 1 times this phrase, but the S plus 1 will cancel with this S plus 1 there. So on this side of the equation, we're going to have 8S squared plus 37S plus 32. And that's going to be over, remember, this canceled out when we multiplied by S plus 1, so all that's left is S plus 2 times S plus 4. That's going to equal, well, when you multiply, the reason we multiply this is because we want uh, to isolate A, right? So S plus 1 cancels out with S plus 1, leaving us with just A. And then over here, we have something really ugly. We have B plus B times, well, S plus 1 over S plus 2. And then we have C times S plus 1 over S plus 4. Holy smokes, that doesn't look easier at all. So what we do is we do a little trick. We're going to take, if we're going to evaluate this function at s is equal to negative 1, and we're doing that for a reason. So we're going to take s of negative 1, evaluate both sides by negative 1. And what happens? That gives us 8 times negative 1 squared plus 37 times negative 1 plus 32 all that is over negative 1 plus times 2, or plus 2 is just 1. Negative 1 plus 4 is 3. 3 over here times 1. And that's equal to, well, A. And then if we evaluate this as negative 1, well, this is 0. So this becomes 0. So the B completely goes away. How convenient. And then we have negative 1 plus 1 here. So again, this is 0. So 0 over anything is 0. So this conveniently goes away. And we're left with just a is equal to something. So negative 1 squared is just 1. So we have 8 thir minus 37 plus 32 divided by 3. And so a is equal to 1. I'm going to let you have the fun of solving the rest of this problem. The idea is the same. Um, I'm sorry I couldn't do the rest of them. I did do it on paper, but the, it, we had a, my son had a really long soccer game in the mud. That's why my hair is down because I am soft and wet, which you can't really see. I'll probably post the rest of it later, but the library is closing and I gotta get him fed because he's very grumpy when he's hungry. So, good luck you guys. Oh, and remember, um, I have, I try to take as many requests as I can. It's kind of hard. I get a lot of them and I'm just a regular person with a job and a kid. So remember, if you can make videos or solve, contribute, um, I was kind of hoping this would be a community thing. So please do. Thanks.